Hey everybody, we're excited to bring you this video with the announcement of Meadows Pups being born. And we thought we'd share some of their birth story here while they are nursing. We have Mr. Brown right here. And tucked away down in here nursing is Mr. Orange, Mr. Red, Mr. Blue, and then Miss Pink and Miss Purple. So she has given us four boys and two girls and we're very excited about how well they're doing. They're doing super good, um, right, ex right where we would expect them to be at this stage. They, uh, today is the 21st and these pups were born the 19th. So they started coming um, late on the 18th and the last one was born here on the 19th. And so these pups are just a couple days old and doing excellent. They're nursing well and uh, doing great. So Meadow is an excellent mom. She's very attentive and keen to taking care of them and their well-being. So this is actually gonna be Meadow's last litter. We're very pleased with the pups that she's produced in the past and this will be her send-off litter. And she's just been an excellent mama. So we expect her to continue to take great care of these pups. So. Anyways, um, these pups uh, are, we, we've got a little bit of variety with them. And so I wanted to mention that Mr. Blue here is quite light in comparison to his siblings. So I don't know if this is a, you know, a good analogy or whatnot, but he's kind of this kind of blonde surfer boy. Um, beach bum if you will <laughs> and uh, so he's one of the lighter pups in the litter and then as far as uh, coloring goes with the others I, I I know there's kind of a little shadow here and Meadow's gonna say don't make me move my head I want to look at my pups too um, Mr. Brown over here on the side he is one of the darker ones and so we paired Meadow with River and so we'll get a little bit of river coming through. So some of these boys are a little bit wider and a little bit blockier um, across the structure of their, of their head, which is gonna be coming from Daddy River. He's a little bit of a blockier visla. And so we'll kind of let you take a little closer look at him. I don't wanna necessarily interrupt him too much while they're finishing nursing. So I'll kind of make up a few things to talk about. Um, while they're going. Um, these pups, like I mentioned, they're a couple days old and their uh, belly buttons, their umbilical cord has pretty much um, dried up and fallen off. And so they're, we're getting a little bit of their belly button here and they still have their full tails and they still have their dew claws. And so this side thumb right here. And so tomorrow we have the vet appointment to have their tails docked, which will be a one third dock and then have their dew claws removed. And so the pups do feel it. Um, we know it, they know it, but uh, their system, um, as far as everything goes, handles it very well. And they uh, don't seem to no, anything has happened within just a couple of minutes after the procedure is finished. So even though we kind of wince and we kind of feel for the pups when we do those um, dew claws and tails, we know in the long run, um, having those taken care of now prevents um, injuries as an adult that are far, far more painful. And so our adult dogs, even with a docked tail, we've experienced tail injuries and there's actually a high uh, blood flow to the tail and so when they when they open up a tail um, it's very painful for them and it bleeds like crazy and it's just everywhere because their tails are constantly going back and forth back and forth even when their tail hurts um, it's just an absolute mess and because we know Vislas are an active dog um, we expect those these pups to be active um, throughout their life and most most if not all the families that 
um, select a pup from us have very active lifestyles and these pups are going to spend a lot of time up in the mountains and trails and things like that and going through brush and whatnot and even rocks um, having that dew claw protrude out to the side like that it can easily become um, tangled up with the brush and they can they can break that dew claw and um, if they don't shear it off when they're out in the brush it'll be broken and it's just extremely painful and it's a much longer recovery to have that um, happen as an adult so even though um, you know in a perfect world they wouldn't have those and have those problems we we feel like um, we're doing them a favor in the long run to have those taken care of here um, at this age so that's going to be happening uh, tomorrow and so we're excited about that so these pups are just finishing nursing and so as they finish i'm going to um, select one and bring them off and kind of show them to you up close so looks like some of these pups have finished and they're pulling off and starting to relax a little bit mr blue there and so we'll start off with mr blue mr blondie mr surfer boy here he's one of the lighter vislas um lighter pups that we have seen come through our lines and so the whole breeding process it's it's actually very very fascinating to see the genetics um, come through from the years and years with their breeding history you get to see the parentage of the many many generations of vislas come through with each litter of pups and so some of their parentage was conforming and some not over the years and so as they've developed the Vizsla breed then they sought after certain traits and we'll see some of the traits um, that are not necessarily perhaps the exact target of what they're looking for as a Vizsla as far as um, coat colors and things like that but we feel like all of these pups would fall within the range of normal um, even this guy being blonder and and whatnot he still has um, the visla red um, undertones to him and so we'll be very curious to see how his coat color um, comes in over time he has a little bit of the darker ears and darker snout and so i'm gonna just pull him up here and show him off to the camera let you get a closer look of him so mr blue when he was born, he was one of the bigger ones. He's still one of the bigger ones. And he was 1.1 pounds. And um, uh, as far as besides his coat color, his toes, we've got his back left and back right toes. Um, they're heavily marked. So he's gonna have some stocking feet um, on his toes there. And so that's within breed standard. So totally fine there. And other than that, um, I don't see a lot of marking on his front toes and with his coat color being as light as it is I really don't see any marking on his chest um, just as, as we kind of comb through his um, coat on his um, chest there's not really any light light hairs um, besides his already blonde self there and then as he's clear on his neck and whatnot so 1.1 pounds and he's going to have some back toes that will be marked and he's our little surfer boy little beach boy mr blue so that's mr blue and let's see who else seems to be slowing down on nursing looks like mr red has come off he may be looking for a little bit more um, in there but let's go with mr red so mr red he's actually the biggest um, pup of the group and he was 1.16 pounds so not a whole lot bigger than some of his siblings but still um, full-size pup so and we will show him to you so his toes he's solid on his back left and back right he's solid on his front toes and actually his toenails still has a little bit of afterbirth on him so he's got some dark toenails but that will kind of clean up over time and mama meadow here is trying to take care of him 
Oh, my phone's ringing. Let me turn off my ringer here. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> so his toes are solid. And then color wise, he's um, even colored. Middle range on his coat color on his overall color. He's not the darkest um, pup that we've produced over the years, but he's not the lightest either. Nice even coat color to him. And then um, on his chest, he has a very slight marking right here on his chest. And not very big or very pronounced, but a definite marking there. So that is Mr. Red, 1.16 pounds here at birth. So he wins the award for the big pup of the group. And let's see, maybe we should go, let's keep going with the boys. We'll just finish the boys. They've had a long enough turn for nursing that we can kind of interrupt them even if they're still going. So we'll do Mr. Orange next. Come here, Mr. Orange. Sorry to be the mean guy here. So this is Mr. Orange and he is 0.8 pounds. So he's the smallest in the litter, but he's not small as far as overall size in comparison with other pups. 0.8 pounds is still an average size pup. But for this litter size and for his litter mates, he actually ends up being the smallest one. So structure wise, he's actually still a good size pup. He's pretty long and still a good size pup, but he's not real thick as far as his overall weight goes. So he'll be putting on some pounds and we'll be curious to see how well he does with um, overall size as things progress with the litter. So Mr. Orange, 0.8 pounds. And then on his markings, on his back left, he's heavily marked on his back left paw. And then on his back right, he's slightly marked there. And then if we roll him over, he has a quite a defined marking on his chest. So a very handsome mark there on his chest. And so that'll be a fun one to have. And so that is Mr. Orange doing really good that way. So even though he's a little bit smaller, he's still very full of life and vitality good energy and whatnot. So that is Mr. Orange. So our last pup for the boys is Mr. Brown down in here. And sorry, I got to move around a little bit here. My leg is going to sleep as I kneel down. So hopefully I won't bump the camera. So this is Mr. Brown here. Good sized pup as well. He's 0.99 pounds. So just about one pound even so close it's not even funny but the scale stopped at 0.99 so that's what, what we will call him so uh, markings on him he has a little bit darker coat color overall um, with some of his litter mates and um, his back paws are heavily marked he's got um, the stocking feet as well so back right back left paws we're gonna have some fun marks on his toes there his front right and front left paws are also slightly marked at the end of the toes so all four of his toes are gonna have some markings so that will make him unique and then he's marked on his chest and has this um, section right here that's marked and then just a little bit low below that there's a little hint of a marking there kind of close to his armpit right there so I don't know if you can see that in the camera but that is Mr. Brown at 0.99 pounds so next we will head over to the girls they have just been Miss Piggy and Miss Piggy eating and eating the whole time we've been talking so and they're both good sized girls so we'll start with Miss Purple here um, pull her off. Sorry, Miss Purple. I get to meet the mean guy and pull you off from your dinner. Sorry about that. So, Miss Purple, she is 1.12 pounds. 
So she comes in at second place, but not by much. Um, just slightly bigger than uh, third and fourth place as far as size goes. This purple is 1.12 pounds. And her back left paw is just ever so slightly marked with just a hint of some white hairs there on her back left. Her back right, I don't think really has any markings. And then if we roll her over, she has just a, the very slightest small mark right on her calic, on her chest. And so she has a very slight marking there. So that is Miss Purple at 1.12 pounds. Next we have, last but not least, Miss Pink. We will pull her off. But to take a look at her, she's also a good sized pup at 1.1 pounds. So she's tied for third as far as size goes. 1.1 pounds. Very good sized pup. And so her paws, her back right, is heavily marked. Then her back left will be slightly marked on a few toes. Her front paws look uh, to be fairly clear that way. Now if we roll her over, she's ever so slightly marked on her chest right there. And then if we look really, really hard, there might be a couple of hairs right here on her neck, right underneath her collar um, that may have a marking there. That may go away with time. So that's a very slight one. And honestly, if I don't move her in just the right light, it's almost, I can't even see it. So that may diminish and that might just be me with the glint of the light with the gleam of her coat that I might be seeing there but she could have just an ever so slight mark right underneath her collar. So that is Miss Pink, and that is all six of these pups. We'll kind of lay them all together here. Let you take a look at them one more time as we take a look at these guys. Miss Meadow is just an excellent mom. It's fascinating, absolutely fascinating to be part of the birth of these pups. To see the change that comes with um, a mother giving birth to her pups is quite um, intriguing. Vislas are super known for being very attentive to their people. Meadow is no exception whatsoever. In fact, if, if she's not touching you, you would be wondering where she's at because she is constantly looking for attention and con um, connection with us, her family. So she, if she's not right by you, she's probably off going to the bathroom or something like that. She just loves to be around us. She doesn't range far from us. Um, she, she always likes to be within eyesight, eye shot from us. And so she's just a very attentive Vizsla to her family us and uh, stays close by and uh, it's, it's just a very interesting thing to see her have pups and once the pups come and whatnot she uh, a switch gets flipped and she could care less about us she wants her pups and that's her sole focus like we have to kind of bribe her to let us handle the pups and move them around and whatnot as we as we clean up after the delivery and take care of the afterbirth and things like that we have to move the pups and get them all out and get them cleaned up and she is just right there wanting her pup and wanting it back right where she can keep an eye on them and then when we go she could care less she just stays right here by her pups and is very content to spend all of her time with them and taking care of them. So we're just very proud of Meadow. We love her. She's a great Vizsla. This will be um, her last litter and um, she'll just enjoy all of her days with us and not have to do any more pups, which will be sad because she's such an excellent mom. But there comes a time for all of our dogs. You can see a little bit of sugar on her face. 
she wears it well. Um, some, some dogs get sugar faced earlier than others and that was our meadow. Even though she's um, very healthy and well, she has a little bit of sugar now. And so we will let this be her send off litter and we're very proud of her. She did excellent with the delivery and um, expect to have her around for many, many years with us. So anyways, we're just delighted to present this litter to you and share the details about them and let you continue to watch them grow and let them become the pups that they were born to be. So we'll continue to post updates and share the details about them as time goes on. And we'll wrap this video up and let you guys uh, watch it again if you want to. We know many families do. So thanks for watching and we'll be in touch. Bye bye.